Hello guys, this is one KV MBW micro pack welder used for welding 0.3 mm to 1 mm ranging from 20 to 30 gauge and it welds a wire of different ranges. So today we'll weld different wires and before that let me show you all the parts. This is a clamping jaw which is used to clamp the wire. It is made up of chromium, zirconium, copper alloy and it is a clamping jaw. And then we have annealing clamp here and then we have gap adjustment lever. And then on this side we have current adjustment and here we have well button so now we will take 23k and w23k and we'll weld it so first we take a sample of it straighten it give it a cut make it into two parts and then We adjust this lever, the gap lever. Then we adjust the wire inside the clamp. Once we have to check that the wire is properly clamped and aligned, then we have to set the lever to zero and then we have to adjust current okay and then we have to press the weld button and it welds the wire now we try to break it and check if the weld is better or not but now maybe it has some problems so we still try to anneal it and make it more stronger and then we'll test it one more time now we change the settings and increase it increase the current so that we can anneal it then clamping it in the annealing jaws we try to anneal it so it becomes red hot after pressing the button two three times now it has annealed out from the clamping jaws and then now we we'll try to take the strength first of the wire try to pull it and then try to break it so here we can see pretty good and now we'll try to roll it into our hands and then try to stretch it and bend it and see if anything happens we'll try to pull it with the max power now we'll weld 24k w24k wire in the mbw 1kv mbw we take a sample split it into two two parts make sure that the edges are clean and we set the lever Place the wire properly, adjusting so that the butts are adjusted properly. Now once it is adjusted, we have to release the adjustment lever and set the current to the desired level. 
uh, we have to press weld button welding takes place and the output comes out now what we have to do is place the clamp place the wire into the clamp adjust the lever and then adjust the current okay press annealing button which is same now the wire turns into a red hot color here annealing is done now we have to remove the wire from the annealing jaws and now we can do the strength test let's roll the wire and pull it very tightly just check it that if it's properly welded or not so we can check the wire is pretty strong and the weld is pretty good now we can grind the small bird if required so it is ready to use thank you so now we'll take a sample 24 w24g and we cut a piece of it make sure at the time of welding the wire is straight straight and we have to make sure that we have adjusted the lever to the required amount and the butt of the wire is set properly now release the bar, the lever and make sure that the butts are adjusted very accurately we have to press the well button after setting the current once the current is set just need to press the well button and the welding takes place automatically and stops so now the weld output has to be kept in the annealing clamp and then we have to adjust the current and lever now we press the annealing button three or four times till the wire turns red hot and we have a finished product now we try to test the strength of the product by, by pulling it with, in a strong manner we try to pull it more strongly so it's not breaking now we'll take 27k sample and adjust the lever place it in the clamping jaws align it properly keep it straight let's check if it's aligned properly and then set back to the initial position for the lever now we have to set the current to the required value and then press weld button welding takes place automatically and then stops now we have to anneal this wire and place it in the annealing jaws set the lever and then set the, set the current to the desired value and press annealing button the wire turns to red hot 
and the annealing is done we remove the wire and do the strength test we try to stretch it fully and give it a good amount of stretch and very tightly we can see it's not breaking off and we try to fold the wire as well it is acting as a normal wire as a single wire we can remove the bar after grinding and we can we can use the wire as a continuous strand thank you hi now we'll try to take a sample of w27g Just the lever, place it in the clamps. Be adjustment of the current. And also place the lever to its original place and then press the well button. well takes place and stops automatically now we do the annealing and now we can check the strength of the welded output Try to stretch it properly. It's not breaking. Well, it's perfect. We try to fold it. The strength is good, and even the weld is going good. We can use the burr grinder or handheld burr burr grinder. grind this burr and then use it as a continuous burr hello everyone this is electrowell brand made 1 kva microbutt welder and it is used for weld wires from the range 0.3 mm to 1 mm and there will be different parts of it which are clamping saws which are made of CRZRCU and there is annealing jaws and then there is a setting gap, set, gap setting and we can weld a range of wires from this and the current settings can be seen here can be we can set the current settings from here and there are two paths one is a moving path and the one one is fixed path so on the left hand side it's it's a fixed path and on the right hand side it's a moving path so we can set we can set it to different levels of setting as per the requirement so here we'll take W29G and try to weld it so we take a piece of of 29G and try to cut it and then check make it straight 
and then cut into two pieces try to align it put the settings and then align it in copper zirconium chromium alloy jaws we have to clamp it once it is clamped we have to see that the wires are aligned properly and then we have to release the setting button to zero and the next we set the current and then we try to weld it here the welding has taken place we release it from the clamp now what we have to do is anneal it to make it a stronger bond if we check it has come out pretty good and strong now we'll try to anneal it we have to place place it put the settings and then place it in the annealing clamp and then press annealing button two or three times so that annealing is done properly at this time be quite hot so be careful and once the annealing is done the wire will be more than a single strand wire 